Gibbons, the singing, swinging apes of Southeast Asia, and one of the most fascinating primate species, but sadly also an endangered one. Gibbons have to deal with many threats, like the disappearance of the natural habitat due to deforestation. The wildlife trade, for which they are hunted for meat, or the pet trade, in which they end up on the market together with many other primate species. Fortunately, there are rescue centers like the EPRC in Vietnam, where I was in November 2016. The EPRC is home to 180 rare primates, which have been confiscated by Vietnamese authorities. It operates with a vision of a future where the world biodiversity is valued and the primates of Vietnam are secure in a diverse and healthy habitat. The young orphans that come into the center are often underfed and dehydrated and need to be hand reared. That's why in the beginning they need a lot of attention and special care. When they overcome this first critical period, the process of rehabilitation can begin. <laughs> For a successful rehabilitation, it's very important that the primates are mentally and physically challenged. Especially those that are seriously traumatized and show deviant behavior as a result of their past. By housing them in social groups and using enrichment, the natural behavior will be stimulated. When the keepers of the rescue centers feel the primates are ready to go back into the wild, the animals first have to prove this to them in semi-wild enclosures. These enclosures are areas of some acres of their natural environment protected by a fence. The primates need to take care of themselves, for example, search their own food. The keepers will check on them regularly. Unfortunately, this last step of rehabilitation is very hard for the gibbons in Vietnam, because there is no suitable area where there is enough food for them to survive by themselves. The gibbons in the semi-wild enclosures still need the keepers from time to time. To give the gibbons and the other primates at the rescue centers a future, the people need to be educated. The centers need to invite the community to gain and disseminate knowledge that inspires them to contribute to the survival of primate fauna. The gibbon is an indicator of good forest health and ecological stability. It's not too late to save this incredible species. I hope that in the future the gibbon can serve as an example of a conservation success story, where the given song can be heard in the natural habitat for generations to come.